I don't know why, but every time I look at this, I start blushing like somebody is flirting with me. I told you all in the other podcast that uh, when I started talking about um, the investment accounts, I started talking, I told you all about Acorns, gave you the link, told you all to go over there and look at the, what pulled me towards it is that, and I can't believe we're doing a full podcast on this, so you'll know how important it is to me with my ruling planet being retrograde in the second house of financial resources and me having my Capricorn moon. I light up like a Christmas tree when I'm in here looking at this. Sometimes I look at it throughout the day and it gives me warm, fuzzy feelings inside. I'm, I'll be in here blushing as if somebody is flirting with me. I told you all about acorns and what pulled me towards them. Those of you that have checked that out or those of you that already knew about it before I mention it. If you haven't checked it out, go over and look at it. I'm going to put the link before below this podcast here. And also on YouTube, I'll put the link before below that in that description box over there. At acorns, the most interesting thing that pulled me towards them is their money skills for kids, their Go Henry debit card, all of that they have for kids. You all could go over there and check it out. You see where um, it tells you about your investments when you shop, that spare change from your purchases on your primary debit card that you use, it going over here into your account on Acorns, and it is what they are using to invest the money for you. And you have your roundup, you watch your money grow, you have your early account like that, and you set up when you want investments, when you want money to come out of your primary bank account to be invested, you can set up your own deposits like that. So it, I like it, but what pulls me towards it mostly is the um the money skills for children is what pulls me towards this most and um also also the references things that you can read that help you learn more about the stock 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 market or what you're trying to do as it relates to growing your money investing your money um earning bonus investments over there from the brands where you shop and that list of brands where you shop where you all see that Old Navy, Walmart, those of you that go to Walmart and other shopping centers. Um, I feel that Uber is on there, Sephora, and that um, money that you get. Sometimes you can get cash back, but it's invested into your account or your spare, spare change is rolled over from when you shop at those um, places and it goes into your account and it's what's being invested. You can watch your money grow as opposed to a traditional savings account. But as I stated, and I'm going to state again, what pulls me towards it is the money skills for kids. Now, we're not going to talk about that, but those of you that are interested, the link is down there. Use my code most definitely and see what they have for you for signing up, what you actually get. And you also have your own link that you can share with family members and friends once you get your account set up. And it's free to set your account up. Now, so, but what I've used before that, and this really warns me up. When it during the during the daytime, if I look at this, I get quite happy. I feel all like giddy and bubbly inside as I stay there. Do somebody's flirting with me like that? You know, they stay the way, the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. With my moon and Capricorn, I don't know how what the way is to my heart like that. But this makes me smile. I love Robin Hood. Now, and I've had this one for a while, but I've had one before that, and I'm going to talk about, okay, J.P. Morgan Chase. Everybody's familiar with Chase Bank. I have investment accounts over there. I've had it for the old, the longest. I've had it for several years now. My accountant, Mariella, does not like that bank for some reason. I like it because I'm accustomed to it. Okay. Now, the way it looks, and this is a very, um, this is a very petty reason that I like Robin Hood, you know, <laughs> and this is a very petty reason that I don't like Chase. I don't like the status. I don't like the way that it looks. For some reason, and I'm looking at both screens. You all could pull you all up. For some reason, I get lit up on the inside when I look at the Robin Hood home screen. I don't like to look at it on the phone. I like to look at it on my computer screen like that. Those of you that want to sign up for that, 
I'm going to leave a link below this podcast and also on YouTube where this was gonna, is going to be all uploaded. I'll leave a link in that description box and I'm going to tell you all exactly why I like this. Now, compared to what I'm accustomed to with Chase like that. Now, I was also looking, I went back into my history. I, I don't know why. We have Jupiter retrograde. We're retrograde, so we're going back to the past. It is the second house. I was pulled back towards 2021, September 13th. We're at September 7th. And, and I was looking at some things. I believe I began to sell some shares during that time period. I was actually doing quite well. And I, I don't know what happened, but it had to be something by nature. I started selling shares. I was doing well. I, I, I think I was led back there today, 2021, September 23rd, on up to December. Now, I was doing well, but I was always also selling shares. I always get dividend stocks where you're getting paid dividends like that. Okay. And I'm pretty good at, at choosing, you know. So, is and, and it most definitely was paying off. I think that I was led back there with this. My ruling planet, Jupiter, in retrograde. And the second, I was taking you back to the past. Because I need to pick back. I never, I, I, I sold them completely. And, and was and I was done with that, like that. So I, I'm going to go back. I feel that I was directed towards them to go back and pick them up and bring them back. Like uh, as a reinvestment like that. I actually sold the, the complete. I didn't sell shares. I sold it completely like that. So, but I'm going to go and look at them and see how they're doing in the market. And I'm going to pick them back up. Cause I feel that I was directed towards that for a reason, but let's talk about the status. Cause you know, uh, Jupiter is retrograde in Venus. Venus rules money and Venus rules beauty. So I, I I feel that with the with the home screen with Chase, I I I I, I tend not to go over there watching it and looking at it. I have it so many for so many years, and it's not it's not alluring. It doesn't pull at me like that the way that the Robin Hood home screen does. The way that the entire platform pulls at me, and it and it's for a very aesthetic Venusian reason. The with Chase it is like more, I guess, what men would be liking. I, I think Chase needs to upgrade the appearance. And, and I know it's not about the appearance, it's about the market, but it would make it a little bit more appealing and exciting. And it'll, it'll, it'll cause one to want to be over there on the platform. And read what they have, you know, and what they're talking about on a daily basis. If it looked a little bit more colorful, you know, and a little bit more technologically advanced is what I feel. So I usually, I don't really go over there, over there much. And, 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 it, and, it's, and it serves me well not to go over there because then because uh, when I do go over there, I'm quite surprised like that at, at what is doing well. But I don't like the aesthetics of it. I don't like the way it looks. It's just that blue and white color that Chase has always been uh, their signature color is um, I just don't like it. Go over there and look. Those you that are familiar with it, and how do you all like it? And how do we get them to get a little bit more modern and come into the um, twenty into the twenty first century and, and change the appearance to make it more um, inviting? So that's why why I really don't like it. It doesn't really turn me on. It doesn't excite me. It is all about that going over there and check you know, and seeing how things are doing, but you don't even have to go over there and check. You could check elsewhere like that, you know, is like that with, um, I'm doing something here. So hold on everybody. You don't even have to go over there and check. And then you, when you go check, you just pull out rather quickly. You're not looking around and it is not eye catching. It's not, anything that um is not eye-catching it's not anything where you would want to be over there for a long time 
you know, it is, is quite simple, not confusing. Obviously you can link all of your other bank accounts, but it does, it still, it just doesn't, you're just not motivated and inspired to be over there for too long. It's quite practical. It, just the blue and the white and, and it's but it, but it's very easy to use those of you that want to start go, and chase there i don't know if they even have a link where you can um refer people but you all can go over there and set up your investment account yourself you can actually work with an investment advise, advisor or you can do it on your own whatever you want to do like that it is quite easy to buy and sell over here and trade so that's quite easy. You could also send money with Zelle through it. Obviously, it is easy to, to, to um, with the selling of shares and the person, the order status. It, it, it runs pretty smoothly over there like that. But it, it doesn't, it's not enticing. Um, it, it, it doesn't pull you in like that. It doesn't pull you in. It is, it's like simple. Now, but... Robin Hood. I love it. I don't like it on the phone though. Now, even let's go back over here to Acorns. With Acorns, you have to go to their accessibility to change the screen color. I don't like that stark white screen on Acorns. Go over to the accessibility and you can change the screen color and you can change the lettering color and it could be a little bit more appealing to the eye like that and make you feel good when you're over there watching your money like that. Now, but Robin Hood is already set up. Except I don't like it on the phone. I don't like the app because, and I don't like having when you sign off, you have to, when you sign back in, you will have to go change the screen color again. It doesn't stick. So I don't like that. And I bet you all about like, okay, you're a telecomer. That's not what it's about. But still, you know, I don't like it. Okay, this is Venus Beauty. Okay, I like things that look good too, you know. And so I don't like that having to go back and forth and change it. I like the black screen with Robin Hood and the pink and the um, gold coloring and the lettering. It, it is so beautiful and colorful over here. I get giddy. My Capricorn moon is just smiling and grinning like I'm being flirted with. I'm like, the only thing that's love is that, you know, think about having a man talking to you about finances and explaining the stock market. You'll be smiling and grinning like he's like asking your hand in marriage. <laughs> that's how I feel with my Capricorn moon. And so I, I look over here. Go over there. You already, already have your account. You already know what I'm talking about. And on the, um, with the reward screen, those of you that have already signed up, you know, you can take your link and you can refer friends and family members and you get that, um, you could get five to $200 investment in stock into your account. Obviously with the, um, with the terms and conditions that apply with that, but you all could do it. It's not just people with major platforms that could do it. You can invite your friends. You can refer your friends. You're going to refer family members, things like that. All they have to do is set up their bank account. It's absolutely free like that. So I'm going to leave the link for you all with that for you all. Like this is more for the adults, especially you all that like things that are pleasing to the eye like I do. Now, so is dies with the rewards. Then when you go over and click at the top, the investing, I love this screen. I wish there was a video that I would show you all, but I have more people on the podcast listening than I have on YouTube watching. So no video needed. So with the investing screen, and I'm looking at it on a wide computer screen, I would on a television or widescreen TV, I would like the way that it looks also. So I like it because you can see at the top left hand corner, you can see your money going up and down like that. And obviously you can see the today's gains and losses. So I like that. It is very colorful. Now, also when you go down, you see it for the day, the week, the month, three months, year to date, one year. And then you can see all of it. You see your buying power, how much you have in your account to purchase stock, to purchase shares with like that. And then you see your cash. If you're a part of Robin Hood Gold, make sure you're a part of Robin Hood Gold. You can deposit, deposit cash. Quite simple, easy to use. Click on the, the um, Fuchsia Pink deposit cash. Who's not going to want to press that button? And you can send money directly from your personal bank account over here into your um, Robin Hood account. And then when you go down further, all on the same screen under the investing tab, you have your cash earning interest, your money that you have in the interest that it's earning, and you have the interest rate like that.
Now, and then you have the interest accrued that month and you have the amount of money in your next payday. I usually choose stocks that pay dividends like that and kind of a moderate risk is what I'm using under also, especially with Chase like that. So is now with, that's how it has been for me with based on history like that and Chase being the first investment accounts that I've had like that. So is, and then down here, you have to discover more transfer accounts in consolidate, eight consolidate assets. That's when you can move everything over here. You have your recurring invest on schedule where you're setting up to invest out of your personal account and how much you want to invest every week, every month, every whatever. And then you have your crypto, your browse, your coins. You can click on that. You have your EFTs diversified with funds. I'm more direct towards EFTs also. Now, and then you how you reinvest your dividends and build investing habits where you can reinvest the dividends. That's the money that you're earning off of the shares that you purchase. And then you have the, um, the trending list and it's very colorful. The trending list. I like it. You had a 24 hour market, the 100 most popular. You had your out out coins, you have your cannabis, you have your newly listed crypto, crypto, you have your EFTs, you have your pharma, you have your energy and water, you have your healthcare, your real estate, real estate, your consumer goods, your growth and value EFTs, your automotives. It's very pulling where you want to click on everything and check everything out with Robin Hood. It's very appealing to the eye where it causes you want to spend, cause you to want to spend time. I don't like the app. It causes you want to spend time with it on the computer for me. It may cause you all on the phone want to spend time with it with the app because it's very pleasing and alluring to the eye like that. You want to get to know the platform. You get instant. You get lured and put in, put into it. So I feel that the creator of the app of the platform itself was most definitely to all that it could consider into consideration. Then you go below that. You're just strolling down and I like it on the big screen computer because it's wide and, it, and you can see all the color and color and all the tabs and you can see the layout fully. You have the, the, the phone app doesn't do it justice. Now, then you have to learn and you can click over and you can read. It gives a lot of informative information, unlike Chase. And it's, it's been around for years to be highly advanced like that. But, but it never upgrades itself. It's kind of straight to the point, which is useful also. But still, it is it's not pulling you over there. You know, it's not pulling. It's not alluring. Chase, you're not alluring, but I'm going to keep you anyway because I'm accustomed to you. It is like some habits are hard to break, you know? So, and then you go to learn to that learn tab and it changes. They have new things that you can learn and, and it has the why invest. You can click on that and read. And it talks about investment myth busters and you can click on that and read what they have. Very colorful, um, very well written. And you have what's the stock market. It, it can answer those questions for do you, those of you that are new to investing. And it has what are your goals and you can read that. And then the next tab, it has what is the risk? What is risk? And then the next tab, you have what can you invest in now? And then the next tab, you have what's a stock? It's not even a tab. It's a block, you know, and then you have what's an EFT? What to know about crypto is the next one. What's an IPO? And then crypto tax loss harvesting. So you have those types of things to read and they change those. So the information is different. Go down further. You have news next. And you had the S&P 500, how it did today. They had a NASDAQ, the Bitcoin, etc. You have your snacks. Robinhood has snacks. And what time it closed? It closed at 3 p.m. Like that. Now, and it gives you a little bit tidbit for the day at close. Like that. Then you have your Investors Guild, the Labor Day Scaries. And you can read that with your coffee and a scarf is what they have on here. I love it. Especially with that, without that white, start white background like that. So I have mine with the black, the screen is black and the colors are popping. And then you had a market watch uh, as of an hour ago. It's updating 24 hours. This is as opposed to chase this sitting there and you don't know what's happening until the next morning when it's closed, it's actually closed and, and there's nothing changing on the site. Robin Hood is quite different. It is even better than acorns. I even know I have all three of them and I've had chased for years now. So it's like, 
Um, you had a market watch, and it's here's why Wall Street may be overreacting about Apple's China challenges like that. They talk about that closing today. Then you have Reuters, and it's talking about Apple for today. Then you have go down. You have your daily movers. Stop making the biggest moves today. It talks about the daily movers of today, and you don't have to sit, search on Google for that and read a lot of um. Uh, read a lot of news clips and all over the place to find out what the biggest movers was for today. Now, um, I clicked on the show more regarding that, and I like the screen that it takes you to. Very colorful, very informative. I love the setup over here. That's why I'm recommending you out. If you all know what me recommending things, I'm going to tell you the truth about it. If I don't like it, I'm not, I'm not afraid to say I don't like it like that. You know, and if I do love it, it's because I really do love it like that. So I really like this. Now, is you had a daily movies, you had a vertical aerospace. UiPath, NWTN, American Lithium Corp. Okay, you had the movers for the day, and they're telling you what the games were. Okay. Okay, so. Okay, okay this is good. This is good here. Okay, so that's good. Now, we're going to move down the games with that specifically. Now, so is... And then we have more information. They talk about CEO Jensen Wang sells 42 million in shares. What investors should know. I like it because they give you the news over here. And it's very colorful the way that it is. Very modern, very um, technologically advanced. Look, looks quite different. And, and I'm looking at my Chase um, screen. And it's quite stark. And it can't even hold a candle. I feel that Chase needs to start to appeal to his... Um, customers more because it, it's, it's not like it's free is it, now chase appealing to people that they're trying to bring in is it, it's like chase needs to appeal to the people that are already investing those customers like that to their clients okay like that you know and then you have with rooters with zoom Okay, and Zoom 2021 was doing great. I had a lot, you know, I sold a lot of shares there. Talks with regulators on Microsoft competition concerns. Zoom was down. Okay, Bloomberg News. Okay, then you have Bears, Disney stock falls. Disney was down. They talk about the stocks that was down. Los Angeles Times, Amazon was up. TikTok's new Amazon, got copycat. Okay, it was up. Okay. Now, so they talk about these things, the ups and downs, and, and they talk about it. We have Tesla, okay, Hilton Disney. Okay, and then you can go on down and you can read all of this, getting a lot of information, things like that. It's very interesting. They, they make the read very interesting because it's very colorful. It's very modern for one thing. Then over here to the right, you have the stocks. You have all of your shares to the right on the same screen. If you're on a computer, you can see it all bigger like that. Now, and it's like you have your stocks. Your own personal stocks, how many shares, what they've earned, the earning, the losses for the day, they're all listed on this screen. You just look to the right. And then you have your list also, and then you have the cryptos to watch. Now, and then you at the, at the top, remember we went through rewards. You are following along with your own account. Those of you that get your account, make sure you sign up with my link. And then you can go back to this podcast and listen to as I'm talking about it. And you can see what I'm talking about. You can also go up and search and type in if you want to move from screen to screen, screen, screen to screen quicker. So we went through the rewards. Then we're going to go through the investing tab. Now, when the next one is the crypto. And you can see your crypto account, how much crypto you actually have, if it was up or down, and how much it was up or down, what the losses of the gains were. It shows you it live. It shows you live on the moment, one day, one week, one month, three months, year to date, one year off. And then you go down and it has Bitcoin, USD coin, Dodge coin, etc. Now, and it can show more. You can click on it. It'll show more to take you to a different screen. Very colorful, very good looking, especially if you have your black background black and not white. Okay, the black and the colors popping, it makes it more interesting. Now, and it, it has all of that. You see what's tradable with that, with that group when you're exploring your cryptocurrencies and you see the non-tradable. Now, and then you see the latest in crypto under that. We see Shaquille O'Neal play active role in Solana NFT project before abandoning it. Lost to the ledges. Okay, and then you have news. We have Benzinga surge. Okay, we have more news and more news and more news down there. And it's very colorful. It causes you to want to read it like that. Now, and then you go back to the top. 
And then after crypto, you go to your spending. Now, this is what I dislike. Because remember with acorns, you get the, you, 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 um, is, is taking your, your spending money when you do your daily shopping or whatever spending you do. It is taking that spare change and it's investing it into your account. Now, okay. And, and it also gives the kids to go here and you, and you get your acorns debit card. Okay. Now, and then for the kids, you get the go here debit card for death. Now, with your, with this, I've been on this waiting list for months. I'm on the wait list to get the cash card. I, and, and I'm beginning to feel that I really won't need the cash card. And I may not use the cash card. Because I don't use the one for Acorns either. But you may find yourself on the wait list for months. Those of you that have had this, um, and have had Robin Hood, how long have you had it and how long were you on the wait list like that? So you're going to be on the wait list, but it tells you you earn rewards as you spend and you round up, similar to acorns. You're rounding up to the dollar amount, or you can say you want to round up to a higher amount than the dollar amount, where acorns you can also. And with the, this Robin Hood, it you earn rewards as you spend and you round up. Meaning if you go to the store or buying your coffee or buying necessities or whatever, I, I don't know if, if Robin Hood has a list of stores, the way Acorn shows it, and you get that extra percent, round it up, whatever. But I know that it gets to round up. And it states, spend, round up, invest your change, and earn a 10 to 100% bonus each week. That's a good deal. That's enough to cause you to get their card. That 10 to 100% bonus each week that you can earn. I don't think that Acorns has that. But they do have something. Acorns has with the list of places that you can spend your money. And it's rounding up. Everyday place that you all shop. It, that people shop and it's rounding up. You can have it 3%, 5%, things like that. Also, it has invest a part of every paycheck each week where well, you can invest a part of your paycheck over here each week. You automatically invest a percent or dollar amount of every paycheck plus get paid up to two days early, which is common. And, and so you can invest just like with acorns. You can invest or you can set up weekly investments with acorns like that and how much you want to weekly invest, things like that. The day of the week you want to invest the amount, the recurring investment. Um, Robin Hood does something similar. No monthly fees, in-network, ATM fees, overdraft fees, or account minimums. You don't have any of that. Now, also, they have something new that's coming soon that they haven't added yet, even though people are on the waiting list for these cards. They, they have coming soon cash back when you spend and you save money at your favorite everyday brands, no activation required. Similar to the Acorn, when you, I, I think they're talking about when they tell you that you save that 3% if you spend at this store that you usually use what uh, like that. And that money that you're spending, that saving is reinvested. And they, that's what they're using to invest in the stock market. And you decide if you want moderate risk or no risk or um, or you want to take high risk. It depends on how you want to earn. And, and, and I, I like the stock market. I know a lot of people don't like it because they can lose, but it's better than saving money. It's, it's better than saving it because it can, you, can, you can really grow what you have like that. And you can earn dividends on what you've invested. And, and my way is investing enough where you're earning a certain amount of dividends and you can reach that point where you can live off those dividends a year like that. It, it would be my approach like that. Even though I have other ways of doubling and tripling money, also investing what you have to grow it, but the stock market is also a way and you could take, you could choose no risk at all, moderate risk. It's depending on what you're willing to risk in order to gain, you know, 
So, and then, and especially with children, it's a good way. Also, especially with um, acorns, and I know we're going back and forth, especially with acorns offering that a good way to teach children how to start saving and they get their David card, but it goes above and beyond saving. Saving is the slow way. It, 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 it teaches them investment and saving because you can pull your money out at any time. You can sell the, the shares. You know, or you could go, you could get, I have money market accounts also. You could get a account, you could get it where your money is locked in a year, two years, three years, five years, 10 years. It, if you are deciding that, like that, you're deciding what you want. Now, also, so we go back up there. That tells you about the spending. Then we go to the retirement, the most important. Now, and I like this. Chase offers the same thing. Um, Acorns offers it the same thing. So it's the, uh, well, it, it has the your contributions three percent with gold. If you if you go with Robin Hood gold, it, it's three percent here. And is how they're matching it is with the IRA and the contributions that you're making and how they're matching it. And they're instantly matching your eligible contributions. So that's pretty good. So for your four hundred one k, so it's like. And it, it is here to stay. It's not changing where they're earning, where you can earn a 1% match on your IRA and 401k transfers. And that's what I was about to say. So if you all want to transfer from Chase and take it to Robin Hood, I think it would do you well. I think it would do you well for the status alone, you know, in the setup alone because Chase isn't going to get with a modernized program. So we might have to leave you all behind like that. So, and then we go away from that. And, and at the top, it tells you how much you've invested. That dollar amount, you don't have to search for it. It's not confusing. You have your Roth IRA or whatever you chose. And then you have your dollar amount. And what they match, it shows you right away. It's, it's clear for you to see it like that. What you've contributed and how they've matched it. Now, so, and, and it's clear. Nothing else is on that page that confuses you or takes your attention away from it. It's just that. Now, and then that's your retirement. And then you go over to your notifications and it's telling you the notifications that they're sending you and things like that. And then you can go over to your account, hit on that tab. It shows your profile, your investing, your crypto, your transfers, your transfers from your bank into this account, your recurring transfers that you set up, your stock lending, um, your Robinhood gold. And for those of you that are going to get that, and it shows your, your reports and statements. It shows you the tax center, your history. And all of that in your keyboard shortcuts. So I really like it. I like it better than Acorns. I, I like it better than, um, a, a lot better than Chase, even though I'm still going to keep Chase because I had it for a number of years now. Like that. So that's it. Those of you that are interested, I'm going to put a link in, and you all can use my link and then you all can have your own link which you start with once you start and you can share it with family and friends okay until next time thanks for listening bye